Welcome everybody to RimWorld. So with regards to the planet killer, because I know a lot of people are very worried about that, what I'll do is I'll see where we are in like a year and a half. If we have made almost zero progress still, because of course this is kind of difficult, if we made almost no progress and the planet killer is about to blow us up any second, maybe then we'll say, hey planet killer, maybe not today, come back next year and we'll we'll send it for another cycle or something. Uh, but until then, you guys point out that really we should be doing some, some slightly better research before we dive straight into microelectronics and that is very straightforward. We need to be getting gun, where is it, gu excuse me, gun... Gun, gun powder. Right, we need to get gun powder. We need to get uh, any form, really, of, of weapon production. Is it that one we need right now? I thought it was a reloading bench. Maybe gun powder gives us that. Normally, I play with, obviously, the other research mod, which actually lets you see what different research will result in you being able to build. So, I actually don't know off the top of my head. I can't say I've ever played Combat Extended without that mod. I think it's gun powder we need, though, right? I'm going to tentatively press the research button, and then I'll go and have a look in a second. I'll go and make sure that that's actually what we need there. But I did as long as we've got a nice supply of bullets coming in, we're not limited to constantly having to switch out guns every 30 seconds. It just means that raids in the future, we can very quickly go, you know, down to their, down to their loadout tab, switch this over to combat mode, put a shelf in the kitchen or something, or, or near the front door so they can come in, grab a weapon, and immediately get into, get into position ready for combat. I think that's probably a great idea. Along with that, we'll also start working on our external sort of caravan zone as well. Turrets would still be fantastic, because that way we can clear out these zombies. My god, I'm on the verge of dying here. <clears throat> Turrets would also be fantastic because that would limit the amount of uh, that would limit the amount of you know zombies that could potentially get in and fuck with our caravans as well. Ideally, I would like to patch up all these holes in this wall. So get rid of that one. Maybe patch up this door, patch up this building, and basically build a straight line across the middle of the map, whereby caravans are a lot more defended. You know, we we can literally go from one end to the other here more or less safely. Um, and similarly, we've got like a lot of zombies over here as well, so we might even want to put a big old wall around that one there too, just to give caravans a bit more cover, just so the zombies can't literally come out of the woodwork to hunt them down. I might have changed my mind. I might have changed my mind, because I did go on Google and type in Combat Extended Guide. The first thing that came up was a wiki that was half finished, and the second one was a guide to gunsmithing, so I decided, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to go for the full-blown research tree. So this might take a little bit of getting your head around if you've never seen this before. I love it. I, I honestly can't play a lot of mods without it now because it's such a nice little change to the regular RimWorld research tree. The fact that you can obviously easily navigate around it. More importantly, when we look at things here, we can clearly see what research gives us. Which, when you're playing with a massive mod pack, in my opinion, is just completely invaluable here. So I can clearly see now with my eyes that it's machining that, in fact, gives us the, the loading bench and allows us to craft various ammo types here. So you've got, like, frag grenade, Molotov cocktails. You've got flashbacks. You've got all of that stuff. There you go. So you can make all, all these different ammo and things as well. I just think it's so much more useful. So ideally, we're going to get restarting on that as soon as possible. He does need to go and rest, though, because obviously he was up all night pigging out on food after we forced him to fight all those zombies. But yesterday, I mean, like I said, I'm still really happy with how that went. How did you get in? Where have you... Where has he come from? How has he gotten in? Um... Okay, we've got a wall breach, and I have no idea where. So this guy has somehow walked through the door, despite the fact that it's locked, and, um... Maybe he didn't walk through the door? Well, everything else is patched up, right? So that's clearly not a way in. That's clearly not a way in. I've patched up these two holes in here as well. So we've reclaimed this building. I'd like to strip all these metal tiles, which is obviously going to be fantastic. We've got no holes in the walls. I'm just running along the perimeter here. That's patched up. This building, even though it's open, is all fully patched up on the outside. So we've got access to all of this stuff as well now. Um, there are no walls on the south there that are open too. I don't know how this guy's gotten in. Well, it doesn't matter too much. It's obviously it's, it's one zombie. I'm not exactly going to lose any sleep over that. This is nice. I, I think we've got a really nice setup going on right now. So what we really want to do is focus on this research just basically as quickly as possible here. I would love to recruit anybody capable of intellectual. Now, Barton is not only capable of intellectual, he has a minor passion in it as well. He's actually very good just across the board. Um, too smart means that he learns faster as well, and having so many passions with Too Smart, in my opinion, is quite good. Masochist, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the best traits in RimWorld, obviously. And Cold Lover is very good as well. This guy is all around just a great character. He's incapable of social, but honestly, that doesn't really matter too much. Did we, like... No, so we, we haven't even... You know, maimed him or injured him anyway. He hasn't got any permanent damage here. He just has a couple of bruises and that's it. So this guy, you know, it's not like some of our other prisoners we had that were missing a leg or a nose or an eye or anything like that. As far as I'm concerned, this is the ultimate candidate for our base right now. We have set him to recruit, but you've got to remember our only warden is trash. 3 out of 20 on his social skill. So this guy's probably going to take a very, very long time to actually convince him to get on board here. I do want to move the prison as well. So like I, I, I said, I'm, I'm sort of thinking of turning this area. We've got 82 limestone blocks. Is that it? Really? Okay. Um, we've got 200 
141 slate box. Okay, so we'll build a little slate prison up here. We'll transfer him over, ideally before he heals, so that we can just, you know, drag him up to this area. Now, if we use these pre-existing floors as well, we'll save ourselves a little bit of resource. Um, we could always tack it onto the end here. Just, just do it straight across. That way, he's also got sort of nice carpets in his bedroom as well. You know, what? I'll take that. He's got a nicer bedroom than everyone else in the damn colony. Right, remove that stuff. Remove that stuff. Then, when Reese's awake, we'll start work immediately on the prison, and we'll just shift him over into here. That's looking a lot nicer. This is going to be a really, really nice bedroom. And I was thinking, you know, the the reason I wanted to get the carpets in as well is because we have such low social stat. We need to make sure these prisoners feel like they're in luxury. Otherwise, it's going to be so difficult to try and recruit them. Fortunately, we're not able to finish it because we've got ourselves yet yeah, another <laughs> another raid. We've got um oh it's so he's got flashbangs. Okay, not really a big deal to be honest with you. This guy with the shield could be a big concern because those do uh, those do soak up so much damage. I did talk about them briefly last episode. Then we've got a zombie here as well. Uh, I mean, they might not be able to fight their way through to our base, uh, but we did just get. I mean, there's there's sort of an example of that. We did just get a trade caravan come through, so those guys have gone through and cleaned out all the zombies, which is kind of a shame. So now we're gonna have to sort of get ready. Other oh, side, still what they can leave. Fine. Take the silver and leave. I will happily pay that cost. There we go. So that should be a much, much nicer base. And this guy should be a bit more likely to actually agree to join us and, and gain uh, gain some opinion with us. That type of thing. Uh, it could do with a little bit of a clean. You know what? Let's get Reese just to quickly tidy this up. Let's also remove that power cable as well. Because that's in a bit of an annoying place, isn't it? Okay, that's perfect then. As far as I'm concerned, that's absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and cancel all these designations. Because he actually can't rip up the floor now. That will do it. Now, let's just make sure that's also... Yeah, that's chilled. We've got some food there. Got a nice room. You know what? We do need table. Otherwise, this is premium war crimes right now. So that way, we've dealt with one of the other issues. One of the biggest glaring issues with the base, as far as I'm concerned, which was having the, uh, the sort of prison being right next to the outside walls. As we've seen, that didn't really work too well for us in the past, huh? Let's get these stalls up here as well. Not that he's going to have any friends for a while. At least, probably not. We could go and reinstall the beds preemptively, too, I guess. Just, oh, right, he also needs a toilet, and, ah, okay, so we're not actually nearly done, now that I think about it. So we also need this, what I will do instead, because uh, we need, obviously, a little bit of privacy for the toilet there. What we need to do is, let's go ahead and reinstall this door up into here. Then we should be able to reinstall the latrine as well. To be honest, I should probably build them a full-blown toilet, because they, these things have to be manually emptied, and obviously they're kind of a pain in the ass. Um, probably literally. So what else have we got, then, in terms of blocks that we could build a new toilet out of? Another sandstone toilet. Lovely. That's the most comfortable of toilets. There we go. Let's put that one there. And then the wash basin, similar to what we've got going on here, basically, can just be on the other side of that. And now we need to plumb the whole goddamn thing in again. What have we got, then? Um, have we got anything nearby? Not really. Okay, that's a little inconvenient, I will admit. But that's okay. We could just do something like that. Reese hasn't had much sleep, because obviously I forced him to stay up all night so that this guy, you know, wasn't able to resist. The last thing I want to do is do any sort of permanent damage to him. So I wanted to get this done as soon as possible so that we could transfer him over quicker. Um, you know, plus, you know, time is of the essence and all that. Yeah, obviously we're going to do this. Obviously we're going to do this. A drug lieutenant named Charl Charlesy caused you from nearby is being chased by tribespeople from the nation of Bust Peeb. Not Bust Peeb again. One Archchief, one Berserker, one Hunter. Now, how the hell are we going to get into the base safely? Because as you can see, this south wall is very much infested right now. Off of safety, pause it, turn the speed down. Immediately taking your clothes off. Why? I don't know. Why did you immediately? Oh, look at their skills, though. 11.11 uh, social is obviously incredibly good with a high passion in it, too. You are exactly who we need on board right now. Ugly, careful shooter, industrious. Industrious is one of the best traits in Rimwad. Okay, how are we going to get you home without you being devoured? Um, I think straight up here, run as fast as we can and straight across to this wall. Get Reese and Cobra ready with some backup. So draft, get yourself any gun. What have we got? Um, please, anything with ammo in it. We've got hollow point, but not many rounds in that. Six out of six. Um, oh, good lord. Okay, we're, we're really not doing too well with ammo, are we, these days? Maybe it would just be better to give him a spear, because when he had that spear, he was... He, I mean, with the wrench, chances are he's already good enough. You know, I'm going to send him in with the wrench. We'll send Cobra in with the axe. Let's do it. Charlies, we're going to have to be very careful about the way you are positioned, my friend. Um, or Charl Charlesy. Sorry, Charlesy. Right, okay. Careful, careful stuff. Careful stuff. Let's, let's uh, give this guy a wide berth a little bit. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Just keep moving. Okay, they're starting to get agitated here. Don't worry about it too much. Straight down this wall. Straight down this straight down this way, and we should be absolutely fine. Couple of zombies on the other side. We'll send Reese out. Those guys should be able to clear him out by the time he gets here. Please hurry. Oh, God, please hurry. Just run around in circles forever. I love with Acton, you can actually manually sort of designate the way they move. That's very, very cool. Right, Cobra, get out here. Melee attack. Um, do you think we could run past him? Don't get bitten. Oh, okay. Keep running. Never stop. That was fine. That was fine. Good play. Good play. Good play. Run back. Okay. Nothing to worry about. Look at that shit. Uh, Reese, let's get this wall built. 
Reese, let's get this wall built. Come on. Get to it. There we go. Come on. Oh, they're in. They're in. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Take him down. Take him down. A raid as well. Oh, you fuckers. Um, nation. Oh, right. Of course it's a raid. What am I talking about? A raid as well. It's me thinking, okay, we've got to back you safe now. But no, now we have to obviously have to deal with the person that was chasing him down in the first place. My friend, get yourself some power armor. You are you are ready to go. So let's give him uh, the same schedule. Wait. Oh, yeah. That's Reese. Reese is the night. I don't need to paste that over. There we go. Okay. Area one. And then let's give him the power armor two. This is what I kind of want to save the ammo for, right? Um, and what, is he a good doctor? He is a good doctor. I believe we didn't really have a good doctor. Cobra, actually, Cobra was okay. But you can be now our new head doctor. So I'll go ahead and just quickly move that over. You are taken off of surgeon duty. I'll keep him on doctor, but I'll, I'll put it right, right down there. Cool. Okay, this is a very nice little game for the colony then. Wardening is obviously this guy's job now through and through. Entertain, we'll put him as top priority on that as well. Is he any good at research? He has a high passion for it. You know what? Welcome aboard. Welcome to the research team, my friend. Let's get rid of all this crap too. Because he's not very really good at much else, I'll be honest. He's good at growing crops as well. So we'll have him help out Cobra. Well, to be fair, Cobra can't really do anything but that. Um, so you know what? In hindsight, let's get him research first. No, I wanted to... Let's have him out with the growing. With the harvesting, he probably won't, won't need that much help with. Um, so butcher, cook. I mean, we could do that. Because then this guy could just butcher and cook for the rest of his life. Yeah, that works. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right, let's deal with this zombie then. You go and get yourself your armor. Um, Cobra and Reese. What have they got equipped is probably the real question here. Spear. They've got spear. They've got bow and arrow. And then this guy has a sword-off shotgun. <laughs> I thought these guys were tribal. Archer chief with a sword-off shotgun. Okay, fine. You can squeeze a bit of trigger and the body's getting hauled off. Right, Reese, go and grab yourself, my friend. A. What are we looking for here? Hollow point? Might as well. We might as well. We've got, we've got to give him a gun, right? We've got to give him a goddamn gun here. So you can get the hollow point. Cobra, get yourself the armor piercing rounds. Fine. Hopefully we'll have gunsmithing done in no time with these two guys basically dedicating themselves to research there. Um, do you want to come and grab yourself some armor, my friend? Did I not set him up with that? Oh, I didn't. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. That's my fault. So you come and grab yourself. Remove him plain leather. There we go. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. We should be fine. Now, chances are they're going to get pinched by the zombies anyway before they can even get to the base. So that's not really too much of a big deal. Um, you also want to get you a... Oh, right. I actually do need to keep them drafted, you fool. Um, did I tell them to get that one? And then, Charlie's, you can get yourself. What are you good at? Neither. He's really good. Not very good at anything. Okay, fine. Um, we've got hollow point ammo in that one. So we're going to get him to grab that one too. Then we need to make sure they're not going to breach our walls. They're too busy fighting the zombies. They're too busy fighting the zombies again. This might not even be a problem. Chances are they're going to be so damaged by the time they even get to the base, if they ever get to the base, that they'll just flee immediately anyway. Let's keep a close eye on things, because we might not actually need to worry about this. Um, reload with your hollow point. There we go. Okay, and then set that to single fire. I'm actually going to undraft them, because they're really not too bothered. Oh, they're getting overwhelmed. This could be good. They've taken a little bit of damage, but they're certainly not in any sort of uh, problems right now. Bitten quite frequently, though, so we might be looking at a zombie on that guy. Um, oh, this guy's actually taking some damage. You know what? They're, they're absolutely going to flee. I don't even need to worry about this too much. I feel like everyone here deserves a nickname, and the patrons have happily given me names for, for them to be added to the game and for me to kill off horribly, and I'm more than happy to do so. So we have ourselves the Rootin' Tootin' Rex Buckley. I feel like Reese deserved that name because he's our main man. He's, he's keeping it together. He was the oh, he was the man in black, wasn't he, that turned up and, and saved the colony there. Rex Buckley is a fit name. We've got Tallahassee. Tallahassee, our our plant manager. I haven't really got much for that one. They're, they're both sound, they all sound very sort of Wild West, don't they? All of these names, which I think suits the, suits the game. And then we've got ourselves... Frank North, journalist, photographer, welcome. This is good. I'm really happy with how this colony is going. And you've got to remember as well, with Frank North's additional social skill, he's going to hopefully be able to recruit this guy 10 times faster. I've just put him in a pitch black room. I've decorated it so it's the nicest room in the base, but I've made it pitch black so he actually has no idea what's going on in there. What was I thinking with that? Frank North, can you go ahead and... Wait, was it Frank North or was it Re Rex Buckley? God damn it. Now I'm going to have to get used to what they were... What they were good at. Okay, you know what? This is where the badge mod comes into play then. So we need to make... Excuse me. Excuse me. Pra there we go. Okay. Badge mod. So what we want to do then is abso absolutely set that guy to be... Uh, uh, so he's going to be construction. You're good at plants. And you are good at social. There we go. So that should much more easily tell us what people are good at here. So Rick Buckley, because there's no way in hell I'm going to remember what their names are this quickly. Because they all look the same as well. It's not racist. They just do. They're all wearing power armor. There we go. So now he's no longer in a pitch black room. feel like a toilet light as well is just kind of... Uh, you know, just kind of a nice thing to do, really. Put another lamp over there as well, because this room is complete pitch black darkness. 
You know what? Most of the base is in hindsight, huh? Let's get this base a bit more lit up. There's no wonder they're all constantly going on mental breaks and they're constantly sad. Base is just complete, like, darkness and nothingness going on. World's bravest caravan right here. Look at this. They're wandering right head on into this gigantic horde that have appeared out of the bottom of the map. Oh, poor crane. You don't stand a chance. I mean, best case scenario is, of course, they wipe out all the zombies. We don't have to worry about the damn things because this was the area we obviously want to fortify. If they are passing through up here, then what it might make more sense to do is, is block off this wall, obviously block off this little bit as well. Keep this area open because I didn't realize that they'd be, I guess, any of the main roads we should be fortifying, right? And try and, and try and solve those things. Oh, dear. There's a big old, there's a big old fire there. A tank zombie. Oh, I completely forgot I turned those on. Okay, um, keep a very close eye out for those things. I completely forgot they existed. Um, it looks as if a wall's been bashed down here. You see that? Interesting. Well, we, we, we know that they are capable of spawning. We know that they are capable of coming back. I need to uh, pay much more attention to our borders in that case. Right now, we're getting quite nicely through the research. So, so uh, Rex Buckley there, really cracking things along here. Nine intellectual now is obviously going to be quite nice too. We made a bit of a headway through smithing here, but obviously, you know, with all the base being rebuilt there, it has taken a little bit of time out of his day. But now we can focus almost solely on that. Let's keep a close eye out for these bloody tank zombies then. Well, they tried. They really did try, but there's another tray caravan gone. Is that some gear? Is that all tainted gear? Or is that just... Yeah, it is. So I guess when the zombies eat people... Sorry, that's so fucking loud, huh? I guess when the zombies eat people, their, their clothes automatically will just, will just drop off their bodies. I need to turn this down a little bit, because that is deafening. There we go. That's a little better, I think. So, we'll have to keep a close on to see if they actually manage to eat any of the buffalo as well. Because obviously those dropping their supplies, I believe this is a combat supplier. So, getting supplies from these could be, could be, I mean, just essential. You know, bullets for the time being. Because we are almost out right now, at least until we uh, finish this two lots of research we got queued up. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, it dropped a mega screen television and two advanced components. Holy shit. Okay. And they've cleared out the zombies quite nicely too. So, we really want to start fortifying this as soon as possible. Maybe I should focus on doing that rather than the research for the time being. I honestly don't know the best way to go around... To, to go about prioritizing things. Um, what is that? The roof collapsing still? Yeah, this will be this area here or because of that tank zombie, I assume. Oh, there's another one there. There's another one. Oh, God. Okay. Um, keep a close eye on things. This could get a lot more out of hand than I anticipated. Let's send our guys, send at least Rex Buckley when he's awake next, to quickly go and grab this gear. Grab especially like the Mega Screen Television will give a whole bunch of bonuses to uh, to just their recreation. I don't, I don't believe we have enough recreation variety right now to keep them happy. Grab that and grab those advanced components too. That's going to be massive. Right, let's get to work then, Rex. So I think we'll head out. We could grab these weapons as well. Are they are they loaded? They're not. Uh, that sort of shotgun could be very very useful for crowd control there. That one's got a, a little bit of ammo in it, and then we've got some vests as well. Now these vests, interesting enough, aren't tainted. Uh, so if we have people who don't have those, then that might be a nice little thing to grab on the way back too. What we'll to folks on the television and the components, and, the, and we've got quite a lot of silver there kicking around too. Nice. Okay. Um, let's unforbid this door then, and let's send them through. Now in theory, they should be able to go over here anyway because this is part of Area One. I kind of actually want to send them all through to help to help solidify this base, to help uh, sort of lock things down somewhat. So if we put that there. Um, if we put a block there, that would just lock out this bit so we don't need to worry about, you know, securing all of those doors. This is a bit more of a pain in the ass, I will admit. Um, so if we do something like that, that should block that off. Then we'll do another block there as well. Nice. This we'll deal with. We'll have to, we'll have to obviously go in and cover that and we'll put something there too. That way, this entire street is then essentially locked down. The zombies aren't going to be able to do anything to that. Okay, Rex Buckley, let's start work on this then. So what have we got kicking around here? So Slate Wall, start work on that. Do we want to set these guys to maybe the highest priority delivering? Because that way they'll at least help out, you know, with carrying stuff over there. Ooh, I think he's got their attention. Yep, okay. Um, I love that he can just sit there and keep building as he's mobbed by this horde of zombies. Now, they might get very, very lucky and bite his eyes, I guess, through the visor of the helmet. I think we had a power armor helmet before and people still had their their heads bitten off, didn't they? So we need to be I'm still a little bit careful about things. We can't just, you know, we can't just send him into a massive horde of zombies like this and not expect any consequences. But especially now I've also nerfed the power armor as well, so it's not so completely just unsurmountable. All right, that's good. We'll leave this area open, like I said. Let's start work on the next section of wall. Another raid, damn it. Okay, fine. Uh, what have these guys got then? So we've got a taser. We have a rifle by the looks of it. Dead person there. Grouse tender, dead for less than a day. God knows where you came from. Must have been that old raid, I guess. So we've got Ian Braddock. Are they any good? That's the question, because obviously we want to take these guys prisoner. Now, given that we've got three people in power armor, I feel like taking people prisoner is probably going to be very easy, right? Now, they've all got melee weapons, so I do have to be somewhat careful with how we do this. Um, 
Using only fists and melee weapons. Yeah, the issue is I don't want to kill the guys. Um, well, I guess we'll just send them in then and try and try and shut this down somewhat. Rex Buckley, you have the less lethal melee weapons. Let's get you going after Randall. Um, these guys, let's go and knock Ian down. Ian, you're in the wrong neighborhood. Please don't cut him to bits. Please don't cut him to bits. I just want him knocked down. Take him prisoner. Maybe I should get him to actually unequip the axe. That's probably even more of a safer bet, huh? Um, so if we we can just like, I mean, I don't want to drop it. I just want to unequip it, but that's okay. I guess we've, we've got to do what we've got to do here. Right, knock him down. Take him prisoner. Rex Buckley, help out. Don't let Randall get eaten, though. That would be, that would be terrible. Go and, go and knock the zombie over the head. Randall, I'm trying to save your life. Work with me here, man. Why is he bleeding? Uh, the zombies. The zombies, okay. And he's also high on Gojuice. Right, melee attack Randall. Let's get him down. How are we doing over here? Th he's never going to be able to punch through power armor. I mean, that would be kind of absurd. We're starting to do a little bit of damage to him there, but it's, it's a little disappointing how long this has taken. Oh, God. Bolt taser. Oh, he's been tased. Holy shit. Don't tase me, bro. Bro, don't, don't tase me. Don't tase me. Those tasers are... Lethal. The fact they make you drop everything as well is, is kind of a ridiculous. My god, he's actually doing more damage now that he's dropped his... Come on. Knock him down. Knock him down. Rex Buckley, what the hell are you doing? Just take him out, my man. Right, let's put 10 speed up a little bit. This is going to take hours otherwise. Come on, get him. The other fight's still going on as well. You can hear it going on in the background here. My god, this is ridiculous. We're going to kill the man. We actually did kill the man. Oh, for fuck's sake, Really? Why did he not go down? Oh, it's because he was high on go juice. Right, okay. I was going to say, he should have gone down a lot earlier than that. Is this guy also high on go juice? Um, yeah, he is. Okay. So basically, we're, we're only going to be able to kill them, unfortunately. Um, wait, oh, I have an idea. Bear with me. Get the taser. When, whenever you're done vomiting, get that taser. Whenever you're done vomiting, please. Why is he vomiting so much? Because he's tased? That doesn't make you vomit. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, it can. Okay, go go, go back through. Okay, we've lost them both now. For fuck's sake. Well, that was terrible. That was awful. They were just complete beasts. I thought these power armor was supposed to give you, like, strength. The strength of a bull. Instead, they just gave him the strength of, I mean, not even apparently a single man. Met weapon handling, carry weight, bulk. So it doesn't actually affect their strength then. It just, well, I mean, it does, but not in the sense that it would be an offensive strength. That was garbage. So I believe that completely locks down this outside wall. Now, there are still doors open, but the doors, I mean, the, the, the doors don't actually... I'm going to claim these as well. That's a, that's a decent amount of steel right there. The doors won't actually be affected unless the zombies are in large packs, agitated by something kicking around. So animals, people passing through. I do kind of still want to lock them down now I think about it, because we literally just did have a group of traders pass through there. Um, hence why all these walls are completely shot up, and they put a wall in our, uh, in our hole in our wall as well there. Let's get this uninstalled. Let's all out there, and then I'll deconstruct the doors and just replace it with a solid block. That way, in theory, in the future, that you know, when, when things come through, they'll stick to the main roads. We shouldn't have to worry about them going through all these other weird places as well. Let's get these hauled wrecks just out of the, uh, just out of this building I plan on locking over. They just shout at that man. What is wrong with you? It's like a life or death scenario. You should be happy to see literally anyone who doesn't want to eat you, my friend. There we go. Perfect. So this whole runway now, this this whole main road is completely shut down. Um, so this external door is blocked. So in theory, and it does look like it's sort of working to some extent here, caravans and things like that should be relatively safe from enemy threats or, or from zombie threats specifically there, I guess. Let Unless they specifically go and hunt them down, you fucking widows. Oh, that's kind of scary. What is that as well? Do grenades explode if you shoot them? Because I have a really, really good idea. You gotta have a bit of fun sometimes in the zombie apocalypse. So you gotta, you gotta take what you can get. I should have, I should have really grabbed some grenades and tripped those instead. So I feel like it would have done a bit more damage. Right here we go. Watch this. This might not even work. I, I can't imagine it does. But we're, I'm gonna give it a go regardless. Um, we're gonna have to shoot the wall behind them, I guess. That might just trigger it, uh, or not. Maybe we do need to hit him with some explosives. That I can do. That we can That we can definitely do. We'll try one more. He's a, he's a crack shot, so you think that would have hit it by now. Let's go and grab some grenades instead. That would definitely work. They don't have a very good range, I'm going to be honest. Uh, oh, God. We're never going to be able to hit them there, are we? Wait, is that how far he can throw them? No, no, no. Surely it's within this area. Okay, well, that seems very dangerous. Um, I really want to set that off, but also I just feel like it's going to get me killed. You know what? Just go home. He's already on a mental break risk as it is. I don't want to. I don't want to push him so far that he goes completely nuts here. Working perfectly. Combat supplier straight down this road. Zombies are nicely cornered off, so they can't actually get over to us here. Um, hopefully these two don't start fighting. They might be from different factions or whatever. No, they seem to be pretty good friends. Uh, we need to stop this guy now going everywhere. Otherwise, he's actually going to get himself killed. Rex Buckley, go back home. Go home and go and do something useful there instead. You weird man. Look at all these visitors we've got now. This is a this is this has been a great episode. I was kind of worried that you know that the research would take so long that we wouldn't actually get any progress done today at all, even if I spent hours and hours playing. This I'm happy with. 
This is proof of the pudding that it works. Now, unfortunately, the zombies are just going to chase me now, but they should be able to take him out, right? I mean, seeing him coming from that far away, I should probably take out these walls as well. But being able to see them coming from that far away should stop this. Oh, God. I'm going to instigate a civil war if I'm not careful. <gasps> what? Oh, my God. That llama died. Ammo. 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 Take it all. Oh, my God. This is so good. Another one died. No way. Another one died. What has this one got? Tasers. We've got assault rifle ammo. We've got charge cells. Holy shit. Um, I'm also going to take your alpaca too. We're, we're going we're gonna to eat that. That's our dinner. Dinner and survival. Wow. I think I've essentially built a kill box for my friends. But you know what? Welcome to RimWorld. Strange drop pod right there. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm just going to go and deal with that immediately rather than let it get out of hand. All we've got to do is send someone to go and deconstruct it. Luckily, it fell right, right within our walls here. So this is the thing that turns out those cactipines we saw a couple of episodes ago. Uh, they can be beneficial depending on how you want to do it. And if you let the whole drop pod go through, as we saw, you get an ambrosia grove. We did have it very briefly, but obviously had to get rid of it. This toxic fallout also, by the way, has been going on for what feels like friggin' years at this point. Look at how many of the animals have died. Good lord, what's the point? How are our own people doing? I didn't even consider that. Oh, fuck. That's a dumping zone, really? Damn it. I meant to put it here. I'm, I'm a fool. I've actually just had them hauling blocks from the other side of the bloody map. Okay, I'll, I'll put that back, but I'll use it for steel slag, I guess. And then it's not a complete loss, but yeah, that's a that's a pain. All right, let's do that instead. Um, let's go critical, clear all. Let's go uh, chunks, but steel slag instead of the useful stuff. Then these ones will say critical, but no steel slag. Uh, that way we can use this. I want to get all these rocks out the front of the base and, and sort of line them up a bit better. It's just to maybe even slow zombies, if that will affect them at all. There we go. I'm actually really glad we cleared out this room in hindsight because look at it now. It feels like a proper zombie city. It's like every corner of the map is filled with them. And you've got to remember there are other places that we haven't explored yet that chance are filled with zombies as well. Oh, there's a lot of crash ship chunks over there. Sweet. If we, if we ever get low on components, I don't think we ever will because I think we've got something like 50 still in storage here. But if we do, we know where to go. But yeah, this feels a lot more lively. All right? I really like... The, the, the concept seems to be working, let's put it that way. This is very, very cool. And of course, we could still go and pick through these buildings if we wanted to. We found some really cool things in the previous runs. You know, maybe if we need a little extra power armor, go and have a dig through. There are clearly, like, loads of mortar shells and just, like, random shit. You know, we might even want to try and dig up some uh, things like crypto sleep caskets. Not because we want those, but for the components. Similarly, other ground penetrating scanners, that type of thing. What I've done is I've very briefly set up a whole bunch of different charge loadouts as well because we have that crazy amount of... How, ma how much charge ammo have we got right now, then? Um, 1,564, apparently. So that's going to last us a long time. And, of course, charge ammo is very, very lethal as well. Charge rifles are end-game weaponry. We've got the LMG. We've got a charge rifle, and we've got the SMG as well. So we've got three different loadouts here that we can basically swap out as we need to if there is a raid or whatever. Quickly get that set up. They'll grab the gun. They'll grab the ammo, and they'll head out. And uh, so we've got, like, SMG, shotguns, rifle, service rifle over it now. I think I'm in LMG, but hey. Um, so we've got everything basically set up now for, for a nice defense. Today's been very much a, a bonus to defense, huh? We've got all of this area nicely dealt with. We've got uh, sort of tiered entrances, this big area dug out, so the base is a little more isolated. You know, we could potentially be surrounded with zombies rather than have them in every nook and cranny. We've got all these walls torn down, and we've got this big old uh, big old walkway, essentially, to keep all of our people safe. It is infested by zombies. Uh, well, obviously quite a few zombies there to some extent, but we're building a few more walls here and there would definitely slow that down and obviously turrets turrets are going to be the big thing we've got to wait for rex buckley to finish off this smithing and this machining before i'm really really want to commit to that i might even go for multi-analyzers and stuff as well and speaking of the devil, smithing is now done. So hopefully by the end of tomorrow or even just before tomorrow's episode, I'll play a little bit, obviously up until the first incident, something like that, so that we can get a lot more of the machining done. Then we don't have to worry about juggling loadouts ever again. I kind of want to get research multi-analyzers done early because we don't have any good researchers and we're sort of dedicating random people like Rex Buckley to it who didn't have good intellectual, but by today he's gone from like 8 to almost 10 there. Frank North has obviously the high patch for it. It's also fast liner, so when we get this Garnet too, right now I'm getting in to help out in the fields and things, uh, but that wouldn't be so relevant if we didn't have a bunch of these fucking mice kicking around eating all my crops, so hopefully they'll die in the toxic fallout. Then when this guy comes on board, we'll get him doing intellectual or Frank North, one or the other, helping out Rex Buckley there, so we should be able to really start flying through over the next couple of episodes i think we're really going to keep accelerating i mean we've been accelerating quite well anyway but it's really going to start picking up very very soon but anyway thank you for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode i'm back all completely set up now i've got all my video editing stuff back together i've got my thumbnail editing stuff back together and more importantly i have my patreon list so a big thank you has to go out to alpha scuff Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Baniel, Sedini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Facundo Vasquez, Fluffernutter, Ghost of Protocol, Ghost, 
of protocol. Sorry, I just realized it's written differently. Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kenny Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Nabuskus911, Nathan Flores, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Stannis the Manus, Shayuk, The Forsaken One, Teabag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backers, William Green, and Zazzy7011. Thank you for your support, the insanity lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. I apologize if any of these names that have been added to game or any of you guys previously mentioned, because these guys, let's be honest, they're probably not going to last much longer. They've had a good run so far. They, they, I, I'm jinxing them right now by saying it, so I should really keep my mouth shut. Thank you, of course, has to go out as well to Astro, Adam Person, AW, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoom, Ben Trope, Esmus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 2 and 7, Easier to Pronounce Name, Emerald Beam, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Circo, Gompo, Gray, Haji Damar, Henrik Stensgard, Icarus, Isaac the Great, Irish, Israel, Isaac Burroughs, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yuan DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Jesse Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mal Stulp, Mass Stulp, sorry, completely fucked that one up. Mastulp, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Payback137, Peyton Dennisar, Rosh Nolgar, Billionaire, Shari, Smirt1, Socrates, <laughs> Super Nanny089, Talar, The Bloody Knight, Belonkery, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wilson Natef, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico2. Thank you all for your support, and I shall see you guys tomorrow for what looks to be an actual stable RimWorld colony. How much progress have we made here, huh?